Hey lovely students, welcome to my YouTube English grammar lessons. I'm just going to tell you a few words and I want you to recognize which words fall under what category of part of speech. And from, into, lovely, genuine, beautiful, handsome, people, place, sit, eat, from, between, hurry, frequently, oh god. Now, I'm sure you have already started chalking out all those words and trying to put them under each part of speech. I know it is quite a little tricky. For that reason, I am here to make the basics of grammar quite easier for you. So, having said this, I am going to start with parts of speech. As you guys know, we have eight parts of speech in English. Starting from noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. We are going with the first one, that's noun. What's a noun? It's a naming word, as simple as that. Anything that has got name, it becomes a noun. People, places, animals, things, food, restaurants, anything that you name becomes a noun. Under noun, we have got few categories. To begin with the first one, abstract noun. Now, what are these abstract nouns? All those emotions which you feel but you can't touch them. Those all come under the category of abstract nouns. They are all your feelings. Love, hatredness, emotion, anger, jealousy. These all come under the abstract noun. We have examples like love, anger, they are something that you can't touch, you just feel them. Then we have common noun. All those nouns that come in the general form. A boy, yes, a girl, a school. They don't have any specification. Boy, a boy could be any boy, you are talking about some boy. A school could be any school, you are not taking the name of that particular school, it becomes a common noun. Then we have proper noun, just the opposite of common noun. Proper noun has got name, for example, India, yes, then state bank, anything that has got a particular name. We call them as proper nouns. Then we have collective nouns. Collective nouns, it's a group of things or it could be a group of people, group of animals. A group of noun that you name becomes a collective noun. We have example like a bunch of keys. Now, you take lot of keys, put them in a bunch, they become a bunch of keys. Take fruits, put them in a basket, they become a basket of fruits. So, collection of anything becomes a collective noun. Then we have singular, a marker. Yes, anything that is one, that becomes a singular noun. A marker, a mic, a board it becomes a singular noun. Then we have plural noun. Plural noun, more than one, many. Pens, pencils. This way, anything that has got more than one count becomes a plural noun. Then we have concrete noun. What are these? Those nouns which you can feel with all your five senses become concrete noun. You can see them, you can touch them, they exist, right? So, they become concrete noun. A wall, a tree, 
yes you can touch them they become concrete nouns i hope this particular lesson on nouns has been very much clear for you i'll be catching you up with the next part of speech that's pronoun i hope you loved the video if you like it please give it a like subscribe and share for more lessons thank you